Hello, thank you so much for coming back to watch this week's beauty throwback. I don't know how old this palette is, but I know it's kind of a no-name brand because I've never heard of it. I feel like I am pretty adventurous when it comes to makeup, and I am talking about the Prism Gold Luster Eyeshadow Palette. So, if you'd like to see what this looks like, see me do a little look, then please keep on watching. Like it said, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty, so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. I also try to do a live stream the first Sunday of the month at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you come and check out my Communities tab. I always keep people updated when I'm going live, so yeah. Okay, so um, I've never heard of Prism makeup before, but when I saw this Gold Luster eyeshadow palette on Amazon for $4.99, I knew I had to pick it up. Um, packaging is really, really pretty. It's cruelty-free. And the little dust sleeve comes off and then the packaging looks the same. A little bit of raised lettering. Super, super pretty. I like the white. I don't know, I just, I think it's really, really pretty. The name though. Don't really understand the name because when I look at this, I don't think gold luster, personally. A lot of cool toned mauvey purples, stuff like that, but it's really, really pretty. It does have a mirror, which I think is nice. But we're gonna go ahead and do a little look. So uh, here is the look. I'm gonna speed through it. I'm gonna show you what shades I'm using, but I feel like people are liking it better with the speed through. So here we go. Okay, so here is the finished look using the Prism Makeup Gold Luster Palette. I think it's a really pretty look. It's pretty basic, um, but I do have to say that the um, mattes do have a ton of kick up uh, when you put a brush in, and I don't like dig my brushes in. I am very gentle, but they are pigmented. They do blend out really, really beautifully. Um, I think it's a nice palette, especially for $4.99, I have no complaints. The shimmers are beautiful, but to be fair, it's hard to mess up a shimmer. Um, I do think it's really, really nice, um, and so I don't think it's a bad palette at all. I mean, you get 14 shades, I think it has a nice variety of mattes and shimmers in it. It has a full-size mirror, it's cruelty-free. It's, it's a nice palette, for sure. It g runs from um, light to pretty deep. I'll go ahead and do a few swatches. So I'm gonna do Midnight, which is the black shade. I mean, okay, I mean, I have no complaints. And then we have Ruby, which is a shimmery kind of brown. We have Deco, which is a matte mauve. The, the mattes are very, very soft, which might explain why they have so much kick up. We have High Temp, which is a dark matte brown. I mean, they're pigmented. You saw them go onto the eyes. I mean, like I said, I have no complaints. Wow. Really, really nice palette. Um, it's not the best quality that I've ever used, but it's not bad. I'm the type I don't like a lot of kick up in my eyeshadow palettes. I know that's um, 
Like, for some people, it's not a big deal. I just, I don't like the thought of wasting product, but I just gently tapped it back into the pan, and then I was able to use the powder on the next eye. I mean, but they're pigmented, they're easy to blend. I mean, like I said, no complaints really, except for the kick up. Um, I do think that this is an easy palette to use. I think a lot of people could get a lot of use out of it. I think it's a really nice kind of springtime kind of palette. And yeah, I mean, it's it's not bad at all. And I did put a little bit of concealer on my lids um, and set it with powder. So I'm not even using a real eyeshadow primer. I just, I was, I was in a hurry today. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's really, really pretty. Like, yeah. Um, I did pick up another prism. If I can find it, I can't find it right now. I know, you're shocked by that. But anyway, it's another prism palette. And I'm excited to try that one too because this one has been a nice go-to kind of everyday kind of palette. So yeah, if you're trying to build a makeup collection, if you're looking for makeup to buy for a young teenager or maybe someone that doesn't have a ton of makeup or this palette just speaks to you, then I definitely recommend the Prism Makeup Gold Luster Palette. Very basic palette, but it's a good price. They're they're pigmented, easy to blend, like I've said like 14,000 times now. And uh, the packaging is beautiful and it wipes away nicely. Like it, I do think you'll be able to keep this clean, which is really, really nice. So like I said, no complaints. I will go in and leave this linked down below. It will be an Amazon affiliate link. You're welcome to use it, but you definitely don't have to. Um, but yeah, like I said, I did get this on Amazon for $4.99, good deal. Anyway. There we go. I hope you enjoyed this week's little beauty throwback or kind of an unknown, un, like, yeah, an unknown brand for me anyway. But anyway, if you did enjoy it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you have ever heard of Prism Makeup. Have you tried this palette before? I would love to know down below. And just so you know, I do have a Macari page where I sell discount makeup, beauty, skincare, hair care, all sorts of stuff. Um, I also have another YouTube channel where I upload seven days a week all about budget food and I have a little Facebook group where we kind of hang out and chat and post our good deals and stuff so I'll have those linked down below as well and um, of course you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media Twitter, Facebook, Instagram it's all about your glam babe don't go anywhere quite yet another video should start auto playing here very shortly or you can always click on one of the ones that will be popping up around the screen but yeah I'll see you here in just a sec